Hi everyone, today we'll take an in-depth tour of the all-new 2014 Mini Cooper S. And before we begin, I'd like to give a big thanks and special shout out to Champ Mini and Champ Honda for letting me do this video. It has a new key. There's lock. And unlock. The Mini comes equipped with a keyless entry system by locating a little black button. You can lock and unlock the vehicle. And after waiting a second, just hit, hit it again. It has a blazing red exterior with the black wheels, black roof, black mirror caps, and black hood stripes. It also has um, the first generation mini where the door handle comes away instead of it being a latch on the inside. It also has Cooper S sill plates and the black interior with the glowing red color line, piano black door trim, and carbon dashboard trim. And in order to start the Mini, keep the key fob inside the vehicle, put your foot on the brake, locate the red illuminated toggle switch in the center console, hit it to start. We'll go ahead and get the exhaust note. Very nice. Put it in the accessories mode to conserve gas. It has Mini's new iDrive system and also the heads up display that just went away. It has an 8 speed automatic transmission in this um, leather wrapped red stitched shift boot with the controls on the top, chrome along the side, chrome here, and a leather stitched, I mean, red stitched leather shift boot. To put it in, you just push unlock, pull it back to drive, push up once for neutral, hit unlock, and push up for reverse. Park is just one more up. Then click it to the left and push up for changing down and pull back for changing up. It has electric assist, rapid pinion power steering, and this awesome JCW leather wrapped steering wheel with heavy grip holster extensions up here, red color accent stitching, the John Cooper Works badge here, chrome accenting around here and perforated leather going around the rim as well as your multifunction controls and paddle shifters for the manual mode and this is also the first Mini that the speedometer has been in front of you instead of in the middle you can see Mini's visual boost here with the interior LED illumination it has a Harman Kardon stereo we'll go ahead and take a look at the Mini system so here's your controller it's very similar to BMW iDrive you have menu in the middle media and radio off to the left, telephone and nav off to the right, back and option at the bottom. The control you can turn it, push up, right, left, down, and it has a touch pad on the top. So if we go into menu, we can go through all of our settings. It's Right now it's the split, split view with the navigation, so up here is radio. You have FM, AM, um, satellite, um, presets and tone. We'll go ahead and play some music. Very nice, and the mini visual boost is an awesome 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 system it's very cool it changes colors it's really nice um and then if you go back you have multimedia we have like cd dvd music collection external devices and tone you can pair devices through bluetooth you also have telephone where you have your bluetooth telephone you notice it illuminates blue for bluetooth phone book redial received calls dial number and bluetooth devices office for more business oriented individuals also illuminates blue it has contacts notes um yeah you also have got and if you go over here you have your mini connected illuminates blue again and then you have 
Customer relations, your service center, connection assist and roadside assistance. Vehicle info, where you can see all the stuff about your vehicle. This time it illuminates green. So if you go into vehicle status, we can see your tire PSI, tire pressure monitor, oil level, um, maintenance oil. And you have like driving excitement, so you can measure all about your vehicle. Um, minimalism where you have like minimalism analyzer where it can like so you know like how you're driving it rates you it's very 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 cool I love this car it's probably up there with my favorites settings where you can customize all the features about the vehicle including your heads-up display and then navigation where you can like obviously use navigation it shows Conoco stations your whole map um, you can put in all your stuff, traffic info, um, like all your um, obstructions and stuff. But those are all the basic features of the mini system. You have your hazard lights, volume here, six preset stations, FM, AM, mode, and so you can track. Here's your climate controls. Uh, they are touch. Very cool. As well as three stage heated seats for both passengers, front defroster, rear defroster, automatic and manual recycling, AC, max AC, parking sensors, um, vehicle um, engine, like where if you stop, it'll turn the engine off, um, traction control off, and your crash avoidance. Down here you have a 12 volt power outlet, auxiliary and USB, two cup holders, handbrake, and right here is your sport and green mode, so if you click it this way, you put it into sport. Click it this way, it goes into basically green mode, which is an eco mode. Auto dimming rearview mirror with security bulb and three position garage home link. Large panoramic glass roof. Controlled um, right here. Click it once to lift. Click it twice to bring it all the way back. And a sunshade pops up. It also has illumination with green. Passenger airbag off. LED illumination, interior lights, sun visor with vanity mirror with illumination, Bluetooth speaker, side sun visor, cruise control, volume, controls with a trip computer up here, and change your radio station, and OK, as well as Bluetooth and phone, headlights and fog lights, front and rear fog lights, um, hood release and pull the hood release twice to open the hood with and release the latch. We'll do that in a second. The rev counter is off to the left now with your fuel gauge there. Heads up display, Harman Kardon audio. It's very nice. As well as your glowing red color line and illumination in the handles. Uh, you also have a little glove box with iPhone snap and adapter and you can move it back. Window controls and powerful and heated exterior mirrors. Full manual driver and passenger seat with your leg extension and Alcantara along here. They're perforated in some parts. And you have a manual tilt telescoping steering wheel. As well as your auto dimming mirrors with your S side scuttles and side indicator. Heated windshield. Hood scoop. Black color line badge. LED fog lamps and LED headlamps with cornering and the LED around here. You have a 2 liter twin power turbo, um, 16 valve dual overhead cam, inline 4 engine. It's an excellent mini engine, it's BMW drive. And this is the Cooper S, so it has that engine. The Cooper has a uh, 3 cylinder twin power turbo instead. And then And then you have your 17-inch um, black painted alloy wheels wrapped in um, uh, 205-45 R17 tires with large brakes and your parking sensors, radio receiver, rear spoiler, and also this is the first time the fuel cap has, the cap has been on the right. It is also the fuel cap that's chromed. LED tail lamps, center mounted dual exhaust and your rear fog lamps, 
third brake light and rear windscreen wiper. And in the trunk, it is now lower. It also has these folding headrests for the first time. Also folding seats. Okay, just push it forward and it'll expand the cargo area. You have your mini roadside assistance also, as well as backup camera and license plate illumination. Rear parking sensors. To get in the back seat, you just reach behind, grab the handle, pull it, and it'll release the whole seat forward. Well, look, just had a view. It's a really nice car. Also, here's your trunk release. One cup holder in the middle. Harman Kardon speakers back here, as well as a cup holder off to the side there. And here, with your Harman Kardon speakers. Alcantara and perforations here, as well as a coat hook, side curtain airbags, and adjustable seat belts. Seat pocket on the back. That's the sunshade for the rear. Cargo cover. Yeah, this is a very nice car. And then if we bring this back, it's very easy. The Mini is one of the vehicles that has really revolutionized the small car segment. It has really changed it to like a retro vehicle that you really have to adore. Everyone has to. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour of the 2014 Mini Cooper S. Alright, please subscribe. Bye.